Jacob Jones and the Bigfoot Mystery is a new Vita game based on episodic releases. Episode 1 is here, and there's definitely good reason to get invested in this series. You'll be playing as Jacob Jones, a young adventurous kid who's being taken to summer camp against his will by his also adventurous parents. At camp, you'll be meeting your fellow peers and the crazy counselors there. As you're trying to fit in, you see what appears to be Bigfoot. But of course, you're seen as the outcast by others for your crazy sighting. Early on, you'll know what Bigfoot Mystery is all about. It's a point-and-click adventure with puzzles in between. No buttons are used here. You'll be utilizing Vita's touchscreen to tap points of interest and to solve puzzles. What I really like about Jacob Jones is just how charismatic it is. It's just charming. Voice talent is cheesy yet spot on. The dialogue is well done for the theme. The character design is cute. Presentationally, everything just comes together well here. The actual puzzles are challenging, and pretty much all of them are different. Some are riddles, some are move-based. There's a healthy mix. There's a little over 20 puzzles to play, which may not seem like a lot, but considering each one is different, you'll be heading into something fresh every time, not being able to apply past techniques. Couple this with the game's pacing, and your playtime is extended even further. Puzzles aren't thrown at you one after another. There's a lot of dialogue in between. If anything, I'd say there's too much. There's a lot of moments in the game where you simply get bored of all the unnecessary conversation. What appears to be character build and story advancement really starts to feel like filler. There's just a lot of sequences that don't need to be here in order to even out the dialogue and puzzles. Loading times and general performance is a little underwhelming here as well. When you're moving around the campsite, you can look for hidden soda cans. There's over 100 of them to find, and they're used for hints in the puzzles. Other than the soda cans and a trophy asking you to find five birds, there isn't much else to look for. In this respect, the game is straightforward, which I feel is a missed opportunity based on the point-and-click playstyle. But what if I don't like kids my own age? I bet you they don't know half of what I do. Bet you they can't climb trees like I can, or track a deer, or... Episode 1 of Jacob Jones clocks in at about 3 to 4 hours, ending with a cliffhanger for Episode 2. What really sums up Bigfoot Mystery well is that when you finish it, you're gonna want more, which speaks for itself as a series doing episode releases. Jacob Jones may have some filler and missed opportunities, but there's enough here to make you want more which is why you should give Summer Camp a try this year.